The fourth and final set of findings and conclusions concern how the interrogations of CI detainees were absolutely brutal, far worse than the CIA represented them to policymakers and others. Beginning with the first detainee, Abu Zubaydah, and continuing with numerous others, the CIA applied its so-called enhanced interrogation techniques in combination and in near-stop fashion for days and even weeks at a time on one detainee. In contrast to CIA representations, detainees were subjected to the most aggressive techniques immediately, stripped naked, diapered, physically struck, and put in various painful stress positions for long periods of time. They were deprived of sleep for days, in one case up to 180 hours, that's seven and a half days over a week with no sleep, usually standing or in stress positions, at times with their hands tied together over their heads, chained to the ceiling. In the cobalt facility I previously mentioned, interrogators and guards used what they called rough takedowns, in which a detainee was grabbed from his cell, clothes cut off, hooded, and dragged up and down a dirt hallway while being slapped and punched. The CIA led several detainees to believe they would never be allowed to leave CIA custody alive, suggesting to Abu Zubaydah that he would only leave in a coffin-shaped box. That's a CIA cable from August 12, 2002. According to another CIA cable, CIA officers also planned to cremate Zubaydah should he not survive his interrogation. Source, CIA Cable, July 15, 2002.